Welcome back to Marvel Live. We are so excited that we have our first guest here, Xavier. <laughs> Xavier Woods. I'm prepared. You, you are very prepared. <laughs> um, thank you so much for being with us today. Well, thank you very much for having me. This is a blast. I love uh, Comic Con, and I'm glad to be sitting here with this fantastic statue of the Hulk. Hulk smash. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is not your first Comic Con. This is not, no. What? Are you most excited to see for this year at San Diego Comic Con? Mm, honestly, right down here, uh, I'm excited to play Spider-Man. Yes. So, like, if we're if we're speaking in completely honest and real terms, we're right? What's on the card? What's on the card? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, any, anything that having to do with all the new Marvel stuff that's out, um, all the new uh, Funko exclusives. So we yeah. checked out that booth uh, earlier yesterday. Uh, but honestly, just like the vibe. Yeah. yeah. That, that's the real part of it. So like, uh, I am a Sports entertainer for WWE, if yep. you don't know. <laughs> Professional LARPer. Um, and so we get to travel around the world and do a bunch of different things. But honestly, whenever I get to come to any sort of big conventions like this, okay. uh, like Dragon Con I go to every year in Atlanta, uh, this is like, it's home. Yeah. And then you know, conventions have a certain smell to them <laughs> when you walk in. But to me, that's like, that's the smell of my brethren, the smell of my people. <laughs> I'm, I'm home. I'm here. I, am, I am home. Yes, exactly. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> so... We are really excited also about Marvel Spider-Man for play PlayStation 4. Mm -hmm. You are going to go play it today, right? Oh, as soon as we're done, I'm walking right down these steps <laughs> and going to play it. That would be my suggestion. Yeah. What are you most excited to get with that game? Like the swinging, mm. the traversal, the combat? Honestly, okay, so in the, in the older Spider-Man games, one thing that was like very underrated that wasn't, I feel like wasn't talked about a ton, but when you played it, it was the best part, was the swinging around the city. Because mm -hmm. for some reason, you just, you become fully immersed as, uh, as Spider-Man just going through the buildings and everything. And the fighting system, fantastic. The story is fantastic. It looks amazing. But for some reason, web slinging, psh. Well, we have to, we have to confess that we have both, we have both played We've it. played it. And you are going to be so happy. You're going to lose your mind. Yes. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna, people are going to be like, are you done yet? You're like, no, yeah. I'm on my fifth playthrough. So with your next guest up here, if you hear me screaming down there, <laughs> like, everything is fine. Great. Great. We, we, we know exactly that feeling. Yes. Uh, so you, you are, you are a sports entertainer. Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> That's called Mount Woods. That's, that's Mount actually, Woods. it's they're, worth it just to surface. have you do that. Yeah. They're they, are they actually, The like, live in the crease, and they'll take you on the ride, but you have to stop halfway because <laughs> you have to acclimate yourself to the new atmosphere, and then you can go up higher. Yeah, get a, get a zoom in on that. <laughs> and then this one right here, wham. The steam coming Done. out. The boy's been working. So, <laughs> clearly you have superpowers. Yes, um, yes. What would you say is your superpower? My superpower uh, would be my creativity. Oh. Ooh. Say more. Mm. <laughs> uh... <laughs> So be creative. When I yeah, be creative. Uh, uh, um, so my dad told me when I when I got uh, signed to be a part of WWE, he said, "You're not the biggest, you're not the strongest, you're not the fastest." And then I was like, "Dad, what?" Dad, <laughs> this is yeah. a heck of a pep yeah, talk. Yeah, thanks, Dad. He's like, "But well, you're the most creative person that I know." He's uh. like, "So you're gonna use that to make sure that you keep your job and to make sure that you're the best at your job." Yes. And so I've always relied on creativity, obviously, because guys in that realm are like six two and like three eighty, and like I am not. I mean, I'm big. I'm big, but you know, creativity is the crux of what it is that we do. And that's one of the reasons that we love Marvel so much is because yeah. it's a creative world and you have all these superheroes. You get taken to these crazy places and it all relies on your imagination. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like the most important thing to me in my realm of what I do. Do you have a superhero that you grew up with or that you magnetized toward? Mm, definitely Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider-Man and uh, he is the man because he doesn't take things seriously. And for some reason, for me, that just makes everything so much better. Because, like, yeah. he could be about to, like, get his, like, legs broken. And he's like, oh, I'm making jokes still. <laughs> it's like, you look at the bright side of all things. <laughs> Loses his job. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's, it's fine. <laughs> very cool. Very cool. So one of the things that I have been told is that with your love of gaming, you have your own show. Yes. This is very true. Up, up, very down, true. down. Yep, yep. It's my YouTube channel. Go subscribe if you've yet to subscribe already. <laughs> uh, so we do tons of stuff on that channel. We play old retro games. We play new games. Uh, we play things from, like, I just got a Neo Geo CD when I was in what? Japan a few weeks ago. Yeah. So we did a live stream playing Neo Geo CD games. Uh, so it's just an all-encompassing thing. And rather than just being focused on, like, one game or one type of game or one system, it's kind of just to show, like, this is my love for gaming in general because yeah. it's what I grew up on you know and then we do lots of stuff with all of the other WWE superstars and 
the reasoning for that is I like to show people that gaming isn't something that's going to like melt your brain. There's always that stigma of like, oh, get off the video games. <laughs> it's not good for you. Uh, no, it's, it's a social event. And yeah. yes, people are using it differently now by being able to play online. And that's how they're making friends and relationships. And so with all of us crammed in one room playing games locally, uh, we're showing people this is a fun, unique experience yeah. that can bring people closer together. Yeah. Awesome. If you could choose a Marvel character mm -hmm. that you can have as a tag team partner, Mm. Who would you choose? Mm. Villain or hero? Mm. Uh, Thanos. Oh, of course. Thanos. I mean, duh. I mean, don't 100%. you think that's kind of just a little bit that's cheating? Che that's cheating. I mean, that's cheating. Be well, more well, creative. Okay. You need to be more creative. Actually, hold on. <laughs> Why Thanos? One, and I'm not saying because like Infinity Gauntlet and Snap and get rid of everybody. I'm <laughs> choosing uh, Thanos because of his hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. Because when you watch him hit the scene and when, he, when he's, he's legit boxing the Hulk. He's not fighting, he's boxing and bobbing and weaving. He's like Muhammad Ali, but huge. <laughs> That's why, because I need those kinds of skills. Not the Infinity Gauntlet, no Infinity Gauntlet for him. So pre-Infinity Gauntlet pre Thanos. Pre-Infinity Gauntlet Thanos. Because oh, if, if he's still a god. If we're, I mean, if we're in a match, yeah, if we're in a match and he snaps his fingers, I might be gone. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. No! That's a risk we <laughs> take. So I hear that you also have a new project that you are here for uh, a book. A book? Yeah. Is that a... We have a book? We have a book? Yes. Oh, okay, we do have the book of booty. Yes. That, so, okay, so, that is the book in which I am talking okay, about. Okay, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> perfect. I was, like, I was like, wait, we're talking about the book of booty? Okay. Like, perfect. <laughs> so uh, it's a fantastic book. It kind of goes through uh, when New Day... We had our... New Day, if you don't know. Me... My friends Kofi Kingston and Biggie, that's our trio. So it's our like humble beginnings and uh, kind of follows us through our tag team title reign. We're the longest reigning WWE tag team champions in the history of the WWE. Uh, we were champions 483 days. Jeez. Yeah. It's a, it's a lot of days. It's a lot that's of a, days. That's a lot of days to hold a championship. It there. is. When you're as good as us, you know, it just kind of flies by. So he has those muscles because he's holding yeah. the belt. <laughs> 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 but yeah, you can get that at anywhere that uh, that books are sold. Okay. It's fantastic. Uh, kids love it. Adults love it. We did a signing uh, for it the other day, and so. I this is going to sound weird if you don't know me. Uh, <laughs> when we do our entrance, we just throw pancakes into the crowd because yep. it's funny to us. Yeah. Long story short, we had a lumberjack match, and uh, I dressed up. I cosplayed as a lumberjack. So we brought pancakes with us, <laughs> and then we just kept throwing pancakes because it was <laughs> it's ridiculous. So. Uh, at this book signing, someone came in like an all black suit. You know, like when people do puppet shows, they're wearing all black. Yeah. He was wearing that, but he had stapled pancakes <laughs> to the suit, so he was like a pancake man. <laughs> pancake man. It was no, that's a lot of creativity. New right hero. There. New hero. See? I smell new hero. See? Yes. Pancake man. Pancake man. <laughs> <laughs> Feeds the neighbors and the world with pancakes. <laughs> I, I feel like he would make people very happy. Yeah, exactly. I would be happy. <laughs> Everybody loves breakfast. Who does? Yeah. Who does yeah. breakfast? Breakfast is a very happy part of the day. Mm -hmm. It is. It's a thing that we can all love and. Yes. Enjoy. If you can't get behind breakfast, I don't know if we can be friends. If you could, you know? if you could sit down with someone, a Marvel character, mm. uh, for breakfast, Ooh. who would you choose? Ooh. Thanos. I, no, no, no. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanos again. <laughs> um, I'd probably choose Tony Stark. Nice. Yeah. Again, I gotta know why. I like to pick his brain, and because yeah. <sighs> so Cap did him wrong, and so I had this like angst towards Cap. <laughs> and which makes my love for Tony Stark even greater. And so I would just want to talk to him about how much we both can't stand Cap. Wow, so you're <laughs> obviously Team Iron Man. 100% Team Iron Great. Man. All the way. And, and. I because guess we Tony's can still be friends. We can, we can still be friends. But the thing about this, you love Spider-Man. I Who do. hooked Spider-Man up? Who this believed in Spider-Man? This is true. Tony Stark hooked him up. Mentor this, this, this young boy. I mean, the Starks hooked a lot of people up. This is true. This is true. But Tony Stark is making amends for that. Bam. Bam. And he's, he's man <laughs> enough, he's human enough to know that sometimes he does wrong. Yeah. But he is flawed. Unlike other people who think they're just the pinnacle of greatness and never atone for their, for their horrible actions. <laughs> I see that you have a lot of feels about this. So many feels. <laughs> so and we don't have enough feels. time. <laughs> we don't have enough time. But also, I would love to hear you narrate a comic book in Ooh. the actual emotional feels behind <laughs> each panel now. Oh, I'm in. I mean, can we do that? Can we have a panel where oh I just man. read one of the books? Uh, that that idea is that would be. Well, someone's writing it down right now. It's perfect. perfect. Yes, perfect. I know. So, Larissa, are you ready? Great. Larissa's got that. Boom. Thanks, Larissa, because I feel like we should do that later. So, would the pancakes be in shields then, and you'd be eating them like, ah, oh, yeah, we're destroying your shield. Oh no, I would not consume. I'd get rid of them. You get. <laughs> yes. Throw the pancakes. Yes. <laughs> I will not ingest the hatred. <laughs>
<laughs> That's awesome. Oh. So what does your Comic-Con look like for the rest of the week? Uh, so later today, we'll be hosting the Rocket League third uh, birthday party nice. over at Petco Park. And it's free. So if you don't have badges for the yes, come check me out over there because it's free. We love free. That? Free 99. <laughs> Um, and then tomorrow we are doing some stuff with Mattel. They have a bunch of sweet figures over there. Cool. Uh, some new WWE figures. Uh, they will be revealing those. So nice. that's also yes. uh, fantastic as well. But uh, then the rest of the time, just bouncing around, checking things out. Yeah, that's Very awesome. Cool. That right. is awesome. Well, thank you so much. It, it, one last question. Okay. What are you definitely walking out of the Comic Con with? Like, oh. what what did you like? You oh, know, you gotta I've, get. I already picked up a Golden Vegeta, the Funko. Yeah, the Golden Vegeta and a Moaning Myrtle. Harry Potter. Oh, Moaning Myrtle. Yeah. Those are two exclusives. I got those immediate immediately. Like I walked in yesterday, went straight to the booth and got those. Was so there not a, there's no line? You just boom? Well. I mean, real I fans mean, <laughs> wait in lines. Yeah. Like, he's going to wait in line That's to play exactly. Marvel Spider-Man exactly. for, <laughs> for PS4 when he yes. walks down. We don't, we don't know people and get hooked up with things. What? No. What? Wait in line. You what? entertain the masses. Yeah. I waited. You are giving us back. <laughs> it's giving, giving back to you. I waited in line at the <laughs> airport. I waited in line walking here. I was trying to get a scooter with that little. Oh yeah, app. the new scooter. Yeah. Yeah, they go like fifteen miles an scooters. hour. I waited in line to get one of those. I waited in lots of lines. So many lines. And then you meet you meet new friends. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's actually that's one of the best things about Comic Con is you get to meet new friends, folks who are like really passionate and love it. Mm -hmm. It's more than a fan. Exactly. It's a community. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. I I am sad because I don't have any cosplays prepared for this Comic Con. Last year I was Garnet from Steven Universe. I boxed my hair out. Like her, and it felt really good, but I didn't have any room in my bag to bring a cosplay, so I feel like I'm I'm letting myself down, and it hurts. You're playing yourself, like okay, you're literally yeah, coming you're as yourself. yourself. Fair. I'm have you seen anybody me. cosplaying as you? I haven't. Soon. Not not here. Soon. Not here. So you'll make sure you take those pictures. Well, thank you so much for being well, thank here. Thank you for having me. We are really excited that you came by.